This morning, I'm going to share a scripture with you that the Lord gave me at the beginning of the year. And before I start, I want to tell you that repetition in school and versus uh, spiritual things is different. Line upon line, precept upon precept. He will expand your knowledge and understanding if you'll open your spiritual ears and eyes to see what he's saying. And my verse is, like I said, very familiar. I read Proverbs on a pretty regular basis, and it's Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Now, we're to always get understanding. It just doesn't supersede over and above our trust in God. Because there's going to be situations that you won't understand. And when he gave this scripture to me at the first of the year, I thought, oh, I know the scripture. And then the Holy Spirit began to speak and say, well, you know, you may, you're going to be faced with things that you won't totally understand. You may have partial understanding, but it's going to be trust in me that gets you through. And he has done that. He is faithful and just. Now, to get understanding, you can continue that all the time. God gave us a brain. We're supposed to. That is part of actually executing, appropriating your faith is how much knowledge that you understand. Be cautious about one thing. If the enemy comes to you with a why, that can get you in real big trouble. Look at Job. He wants to pull you over into a area of pride and demanding not to move until you have some understanding of where you might be going. Understanding the situation. And that is um, that's something that you don't want to do. So the question is not why. The question is, what are you going to do when you don't know why? You're going to trust in him, right? And then the Lord took me over into John 11. And it was the story of Lazarus. And as you well know it, Mary and Martha had called for Jesus to come heal and lay, you know, heal Lazarus. And as you know, he delayed two days. It wasn't because he had a lack of compassion, a lack of caring for all of them. But he did delay two days. And you know what happened? Lazarus died. But they didn't realize that the resurrection of life was standing right in front of them. And he's always able to pull you through. He is able to bring back anything in your life because he is the resurrection of life. He, his timing is perfect, absolutely perfect. And he is working a plan and a purpose that he has for you. But the ultimate thing he wants to do is show forth his divine glory in something that he is doing for you. Amen? Amen. Say this with me. Lord, Lord I, choose I choose to trust in you, trust in you. with my whole heart. With my whole heart. And I, refuse and I refuse to lean to my own understanding. To my own understanding. Amen? Amen. 